so yesterday we had seen what the ferromagnetic materials are and and we saw that they are characterized by a very very high permeability that means inside the material the amount of magnetic field will become become maybe maybe greater than 1000 times what it was within the within the uh, within the solenoid with the vacuum now that property is actually used in in while designing the machines or generators and motors okay but though that is out of our scope still we should understand that they have they have this amazing property where the mu r ferromagnetism where the mu r is is mu r is greater than 1000 okay it is greater than 1000 it is greater than 1000 So this is greater than thousand, and we saw that that we have a hard ferromagnetic material, and we have a soft ferromagnetic material. That depends on the behavior of the material when you withdraw the external magnetic field. So if we withdraw it and it still remains inside, the magnetization still remains. It is called a hard ferromagnetic material, and if if the magnetization goes away then it becomes a soft ferromagnetic material we understand that we understand that and depending on that we will find they have different usage when when we go to electromagnets and permanent magnets right now the the materials which are ferromagnetic the most important one that we have seen is is the iron right the most important is iron cobalt nickel cobalt is also one and nickel is also one and many a times you'll find a find an alloy of these which are used as as magnets right <coughs> Now, as it happened with, with uh, our paramagnetic material, uh, what happens? The, the, the magnetization depends on the temperature, and it will be obviously inversely proportional to the temperature. Okay, so so the magnetization of a ferromagnetic material of a ferro magnetic material depends on temperature right it depends on on temperature temperature okay it depends on temperature and and as i start heating it as as i start increasing the temperature what happens I understand that those dipole moments they start vibrating faster and faster till a point comes where they become completely deranged okay so as the temperature increases as the temperature increases 
द डायपोल्स स्टार्ट वाइब्रेटिंग वाइब्रेटिंग एंड एंड बियॉन्ड अ टेम्परेचर एंड बियॉन्ड अ टेम्परेचर कॉल्ड कॉल्ड क्यूरी टेम्परेचर बियॉन्ड 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 अ ट्रांजिशन टेम्परेचर कॉल्ड बियॉन्ड अ ट्रांजिशन टेम्परेचर कॉल्ड कॉल्ड क्यूरी टेम्परेचर It is denoted by, it is denoted by T, T subscript C, okay. Curie temperature, T C. The ferromagnetic material becomes, the ferromagnetic material becomes. Becomes. A paramagnetic material, okay, becomes a paramagnetic material, okay. And in that case, and, and when it when it does that transition, then in that case, our susceptibility. See, our, our susceptibility will be directly proportional to T minus T C. Why? Because I am considering my T greater than T C. You understand? I, I am talking about the paramagnetic phase. That means when the ferromagnetic, after undergoing a, 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 after being exposed to a high temperature, has converted into a paramagnetic material, then its susceptibility is given by this and and when this when this proportionality sign goes away i get this okay i get this this is but but one thing one thing has to be very clear that this holds for t greater than tc it holds for T greater than T C. So what if the T C is greater than T? No. If if T, if T C is greater than T, that means we are still in the ferromagnetic phase. This is for the paramagnetic phase when we have crossed over. Okay. This is C C C is C is uh, Curie's constant. The gets converted into paramagnetic. Then then this holds, right? When T is greater than T. Yeah, because 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 you have crossed that transition temperature, no? After that, this comes into play. Okay, for T less than T C, for T less than T C, the material is still, the material is still, still ferromagnetic. Okay, when we were children and used to get a magnet and which seemed like some some diamond to us. We were told, do not put it near heat. So we were afraid to even take out in 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 daylight, okay? Fearing that the magnetization will change. Little did we know all this, right? <clears throat> so so so, but but this holds after you have crossed your TC, and TC is quite high, okay? 